Welcome back to the Cisco Catalyst Center training series for industrial switching. My name is Krishna Divakar. I'm a technical marketing engineer for industrial switching at Cisco. In the previous video, we discussed about the SWIM application of the Cisco Catalyst Center. In this video, we will follow it up with a demonstration on how to upgrade the industrial switches using SWIM. Before we proceed, let's quickly have a recap of the benefits SWIM has to offer for the software upgrades. Software upgrades using SWIM is simpler, reliable, granular, and scalable. Using SWIM, software upgrades for up to 500 devices at once can be done easily with a matter of few clicks. Along with the flexibility to distribute now and activate later, the software upgrades also goes through a series of pre and post checks and also the integrity validation using KGV. The software upgrades cannot be much simpler than this. It just takes three simple clicks to upgrade the device software. You start with downloading or importing the required image, mark the image as golden and then click the upgrade. In a matter of few minutes, the device software gets upgraded seamlessly. Enough said, let's jump into the demo to watch all the action. For today's demo, we have two devices which we will be upgrading. The one on the right is an IE3300. Running in install mode. And the one on the left is an IE3400 running in bundle mode. So what we will be doing today is upgrade both these devices from 17.12.1 to 17.13.1. Right now we are in the inventory page of the Catalyst Center and we can observe that the IE3300 and the IE3400 devices which we are going to upgrade today are both manageable and reachable from the Catalyst Center and both are running the image 17.12.1. So these are the two devices which we are going to upgrade to 17.13.1. As we know the first step to do the swim upgrade is go to the image repository And download the required image so right now we are in the image repository page you can see like there are a lot of images that's been stored by the catalyst center so we have images for all types of devices right from the routers switches wireless controllers and so on all these images downloaded are automatically categorized and mapped to the respective platform by the catalyst center so let's take an example click on the IE3300 device. As we've been discussing in the video, you could see for the IE3300, there are suggestions like suggested images and the latest images available. So let's look for the 1731 image which we want to upgrade today. We have the image 1731 here and it's already marked as the latest by the Catalyst Center automatically. So next step, what we will do is we will go ahead and mark this image as the golden image. The 1731 image has been tagged as golden for the IE3300 device or the device family. Let's do the same thing for the IE3400 as well. So now both the devices, the 3300 and 3400 devices are marked with 17131 as the golden image, meaning the devices should be running on 17131 image. In case if the required image is not available in the repository, you can always go ahead and import it from the local storage. Just go back to the image repository. You see the import image option here. Click on it and you could select the image which is locally available in your laptop or a PC and then say import. So doing so the image would be imported into the Catalyst Center's repository. Now let's quickly check one thing. Go back to inventory. So moments before we saw both the IE3300 and the 3400 was compliant. But now you see they are marked as non-compliant. Let's take a look at why these devices are marked as non-compliant.
The reason for marking this device as non-compliance is the software image. IE3300 has been marked for 17.13.1 as the golden image but currently is running on 17.12.1 which is a deviation from the standard and hence the Catalyst Center is reporting it as a non-compliance device. The way to fix this non-compliant is go ahead and upgrade 17.13.1 on the IE3300. For that let's go back to provision and inventory. Select the IE3300. We also want the IE3400 to be upgraded. So let's select the IE3400 as well. And say image update. Let's give a meaningful name here. So I'm just giving a name like update 3300-3400 with 17.13.1 and hit next. So what you see here is the software distribution check which the Catalyst Center does automatically. So it would check for the flash, flash storage capacity. Let's go next. And these are the series of pre-checks and post-checks which we've been talking about in the previous videos. So it does a lot of pre-checks like the spanning tree check, interface check and so on. Let's go ahead and hit next. Right now we are in activation order page. Until Catalyst Center 2360 release, all the image upgrades were done parallelly. From 236 onwards, we do have an option wherein the users are allowed to choose how you want to upgrade the image. For example, I can choose the images to be upgraded in a sequential manner. So what I do is select both these images and I push to sequential update. Once you select the sequential activation option, the devices would disappear from here and would be available under the sequential activation tab. This is where you can reorder the devices in the way you want to be upgraded. I am okay with the current order that is the IE3300 to be upgraded first followed by the IE3400. So I will just go ahead and hit next. This is the summary page where you can review your selection. In our case, we have chosen two devices that is IE3300 and the 3400 to be upgraded in a sequential order. I don't wish to make any changes here, so I will just go ahead and hit submit. Catalyst Center has successfully initiated the software upgrade process. Let's go ahead and click on the image update status to see what's happening on the devices. Once you are in the image update status page, you could see all the devices that's been upgraded based on their status. In our case, we had two devices out of which one is in progress and the other one is in waiting. Let's check what is in progress. We have the IE3300 device being upgraded currently. It's due to the fact that we put the IE3300 to the top of the list. Until the IE3300 device has been upgraded, the IE3400 will not initiate the upgrade and would be in waiting stage. Let's go back and check what is the status on the IE3300. Clicking on the device name would open up a new window wherein you can see each and every step that has been performed on the device. Let's quickly check what is happening in the device console.
you could observe the catalyst center is distributing the image 17131 to the IE3300 device. Do you observe the file size being increased? So the Catalyst Center is taking a series of steps to make sure the software is updated. Let's try to do a refresh. If you observe, the Catalyst Center has successfully distributed the 1731 image to the IE3300 device. During the distribution, it has gone through the various checks like the image integrity verification, pre-distribution and post-distribution operations. It has also verified the image checksum. Followed by the distribution, the activation would be kicked on, wherein the device would be rebooted to make sure the new software is active. If you observe the console, the device is now being rebooted to make sure the software gets updated. If you observe the statements here, the Catalyst Center has automatically extracted the packages and is booting the device with 17.13.1. And you will be well aware that this is how the install boot takes place. It no more takes the bin image, instead uses the packages to bring up the device. Let's go back to the Catalyst Center. So what we observe here is in line with what we saw on the console. The image activation is in process. During the activation phase, Catalyst Center will upgrade the device with the chosen software which is the golden image and also remove any unwanted packages or any unwanted residuals from the flash. Catalyst Center has now successfully updated the IE3300 image. If you observe, the 3300 device is running on 17.13.1, which was the golden image which we had chosen. And also on the left, you could observe the IE3400 device has kicked up the activation process. Similar to what we observed in these consoles, we can see here the IE3400 device has moved from the waiting to in progress. If you click on the IE3400, you could observe the IE3400 device has gone through an additional stage called waiting. This is because the IE3400 was put up in a sequential order and hence had to wait for the IE3300 to complete. Let's quickly go to the inventory and see the status for the IE3300 device. Since the IE3300 has completed its upgrade process, it's been marked as compliant. If you observe, the IE3300 is now running the standardized image or the golden image which is 17.13.1. And after a few minutes, even the IE3400 would get upgraded to 17.13.1 which is the golden image and would be marked as compliant. The IE3400 is currently being upgraded and as we already discussed, along with the software upgrade, even the FPGA packages are being upgraded automatically. And after a few minutes, even the IE3400 would be upgraded to 17.13.1 and marked compliant. This is how you upgrade the devices using the swim workflow of the Catalyst Center. This concludes the demo. Hope you found it interesting and thank you for watching.